Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat Evolution for race 30, 36, part 31 of the Greer Mode. We're going to Charlotte State for the first race of the round of 12. I'm looking forward to it. If you have not watched the last video at Dover, I ended up winning. That was my sixth win, not my seventh. I made a mistake. Nobody corrected me, but it was my sixth win. Um, teams and everything, we did upgrade to the next part. Uh, we got the computer control, so we got more horsepower in the car. And then after that, we'll get wind tunnel, which is 500k, and then we'll open up the machine shop. Point standings going into the race, this is how it's set. It's basically on default for now. I'm in 12th, uh, this is what it looks like and everything. So you follow all your drivers at home and whatnot and all that. So without further ado, let's get into Charlotte. But before then, difficulty, the same stuff as always. I really wanted to show this again, just in case people think I'm cheating or some bullshit. So that's what it is. So let's get right in the race, do qualifying and see where we place in the race. to head out turn four now the lap felt pretty good um the car i mean it's ridiculous i only have to laugh the drag <laughs> why is it so hard for me to talk i got 10th that's just saw i was trying to say <clears throat> was that i barely had to let off the gas why when i say that, that's the second time i've done that in this freaking crew mode that's all i had to do and it was i just thought it was weird that, that's all I wanted to say. Here are the race is about to begin. Get ready. And green flags out. We are underway here at Charlotte for 23 laps going into this race. I'm starting 10th. Brad's 5th. I'm confused with that as well, like always. Here we go. Get right down to the inside. One thing with this track that ever since the patch came out is it, it did get much bumpier. So that's something interesting to note. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to be on the outside line as much as possible because it just seems like I, I'm just quicker up there. So we're going to three, go all the way up here, get some spots, and it's working. Gary moved up to eighth, about to get seventh. Junior almost pinched us into the wall, but it's okay. He can do whatever he wants to me. He's the female, or he's the, female. He's the male of the relationship. I'm thinking about that, and I, I hit the wall. Um, we're getting by these people on the outside. That engine upgrade helped out a lot. Cause remember in the spring race, um, at a certain point, it got really, really difficult to, to pass. I ended up getting third as I was watching Brad and Logano duke it out for the win and lap traffic screwed Logano and got Brad the win and I almost threw my controller. <laughs> but we've already moved up to fourth, so this race is already looking promising. I mean, I think we have another car to win. Edwards did this the last lap where he gets off the corner and he just goes so freaking low like he does like an Indy car move like look at how low he's going it's ridiculous like that's like the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do at NASCAR is to do that <laughs> it's not really working for him and as I'm looking at Edwards do his best Indy car impression I'm gaining on Kyle Busch and these leaders what the hell is going on in this career mode why am I so all of a sudden good that see that now see I, I actually had a reason to, to to bitch and moan about getting that upgrade helping out a lot because it it's showing right now it I was right um, Edwards is trying desperately to get by Harvick he's just trying to stay on the defensive side and just be on the inside every time my best uh, group is the outside 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 lane it seems to work the best since these guys are really hogging the bottom lane like crazy they do do this weird thing where they arch out just like that if you were noticing. So that's why I want to stay to the outside and just stay away from them. And surprisingly, outside is uh, somewhat competitive uh, for the most part. But Kyle and Edwards, they're, they're just hogging the bottom lane, and I don't want to just do something stupid and all that. So again, we still have to think big picture. We still got to think about the championship. Oh, God, Edwards just got to the corner panel of Harvick. He really, really dived it in there and really went balls to the wall trying to get by Harvick, and he's about to do it. Remember, I, he won two out of the three chase races last time, and now here he is trying to win another chase race to get himself into the round of eight. So it's a very interesting race so far. I mean, we're still right up there with the leaders. 
we're not really gaining. I mean, we're not really pulling away or, or, or having a super de duper advantage. But we're just hanging in there, and we're having a really strong run. In the spring, we were falling off like the pace so much. We were in third, but we lost so much ground to the leaders, we could not catch up. Now it's the exact opposite, where we, where we are uh, catching them, and we're on pace with them at least. I don't know if we have a car to win the race per se, but once the lap traffic uh, comes into tu into tuition, it's going to make this race really interesting because it's going to hold some of these guys up and that could give me the advantage to get the lead. But as of right now, I'm just trying to hit my marks, do everything I can to be into that position when that event comes, and, and really just see what happens. Actually, it's getting much harder to pass hard, so I'm going to try to go into sweat mode here and uh, try to get by him for a second. Oh my god, finally. That was that was one hell of a freaking battle to get second. Like that was four laps of just completely concentrating and just trying to get around him. Like he Oh my god, that just took that was that was legitimately difficult. I will, I will give the game that. That was that was so that was difficult. Now it's time to try to catch Edwards. Look at this. I'm seeing the tail end of the back of the pack. I mean, I don't know why I worded it like that, but we have about nine laps to go, we're gonna be eight laps to go when we hit the line now. It's just been about a car like me and Edwards have been separated by I me. Mean, it's been like just ridiculous. I'm trying everything I can and, and I can I can race the bottom, but I have to back up my corner and everything so much. And also the fact he's being so defensive, I don't know if I can get by him that way on the inside. So I'm really, really trying to get by him. Lap after lap. I don't want to make contact, I don't want to mess up. Gotta think big picture here. Even if we can't get this race won, we still gotta at least finish well. We can't wreck the car doing it. Because, you know, I don't know how the other races will be. Every race, it feels unpredictable at this point considering how the car is now. And it looks like we will definitely catch those guys by the end of the race, That those, uh, lap, those near lap down cars. And I think I see Brad in last place, which I don't understand how he can be so well in the first three chase races and now be last. He started fifth by the way and I slapped the outside wall, why not? Why why does why does Brad do this to himself? I don't even understand it. Just, me and Edwards are still side by side. It's all gonna come down to how we get by the lap traffic here. Oh I smacked the outside wall. And Brad's holding up Edwards. This is a, a Ford conspiracy now and we're gonna get the freaking lead. <laughs> I like to thank Brad, my, my Ford, not really teammate, for uh, holding up Edwards and screwing him out of the win. Um, Brad's amazing. I'm, I'm sure he purposely sandbagged to be in last place in order for that to happen, so I like to thank Brad for that. And that rhymed. And now, now we're going to try. <laughs> we have a second lead over Edwards. It's such bullshit. <laughs> oh my god. So, you know what? It's time to take our time and just cruise. And, and see what happens. About a lap and a half to go, I've been just out and just completely just wrecked the field ever since I got the lead. Also, if you notice, Edwards dropped from second to fifth, so he must be having a really hard time trying to get around lap traffic as we're heading to the tribal to the white flag. One more lap to go around Charlotte. If we get this win, we'll advance automatically into the round of eight, something I didn't even think was quite possible, considering how I was at the midpoint of the season. But we're pulling away from Harvey even more. It's down to a four-second lead. What the hell is going on in this career mode? Why am I so good all of a sudden? So, yeah, Harvick's second, and the feel, the game is, the frame rates are dropping. The game can't handle this awesomeness I'm, I'm projecting onto the game. Heading off turn four, and we will get our second win in a row. The seventh win of the career mode for real this time. We win at Charlotte. I'm confused. I'm sure all of you people are confused, but that is how career mode works in this game. It is truly the most pinnacle of just career modes. This is how it is in real life to exactly like, it, 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 it's just like this. And also it shows how broken with chase format is when I'm realistically an eighth place driver and then I can contend for a championship because I have good, I have one good race. It's whatever, so let's so, okay that. 
And that's the top 10. Brad's 40th like I thought. Let's continue. We're going to get a good amount of winnings for this race. Absolutely. And then we'll be just a little bit closer to getting that airflow thing. Which I'm thinking that might be what was also slowing me down in the straights. Was not having good, I guess, airflow. I don't, I don't know. I'm assuming that's one of the other ones. And now we get E1000. And we're going to get, jeez, 208,000. Alright, so we're almost halfway there. And it looks like I will definitely, obviously, advance. Lagano's outside the chase as well as Junior, so that's like a glass half hole kind of thing. 10th to 9th is, it's still very tight points about anybody can move out or in. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So that's what it looks like Big Murray is in, in the final 8 as of right now. That's weird. Let's continue and get out of here. And we're going to get our trophy. Looks cute. I like it. Let's get out of here. I have the fastest lap, surprisingly. Alright. Let's get out of here. Next race is at, I think, Kansas? Yeah, Kansas. So, I don't know what I, how I'll do there. Technically, I could just skip these two races and I'll be in. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot of stake just to win and get money for the next part. Once we get the airflow, then 100% certainty we will absolutely just slaughter the field and maybe win the championship. I don't know. I don't know how those same things and those words can work in the same context. I don't I don't know. So next race will be at Kansas. Uh, thank you for watching as always. Like I do say appreciate the love feedback and support all you guys give me in the comment section below and as well as liking the video and because it helps me out a lot in the long run. I can't I, I'm I'm tired of it. I, I was freaking trying to record this last night, but the freaking elections and then my, my whole social media blowing up with the, the winner and it just it slowed my computer down. And if I had my Gel my Elgato on, it just destroyed everything. It was too slow, so I had to wait. It's 8 a.m. I'm tired, so maybe that's why I'm derping more than I normally derp. So I don't know. Like I always say, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.